Let's consider a few points before we start recording a PowerPoint presentation. If your presentation consists of more than just a PowerPoint presentation, and you wish to include a live software demonstration, we strongly recommend that you produce an extra Windows Media video file for each part of the presentation. This makes things easier for you, as you don't have to produce the whole film in one go. We can edit and join any number of films, but please remember to number them chronologically. A couple of other things worth mentioning. Bear in mind that the PowerPoint screen capture takes place in full screen mode. We need to get rid of a few things which might still be visible. The taskbar, for example, should be deactivated and your mouse pointer should be hidden down at the bottom corner of the screen. And please, don't park it in the middle of a text passage or one of the graphics. Thank you. Another point to remember is that your PowerPoint notes will not be visible during the recording, so it's a good idea to print them out before you start. In PowerPoint, you go to Print Preview and then, then go to Notes Pages and start your printer. Now we are ready to set up a PowerPoint recording. First of all, make sure that the Windows Media Encoder and the PowerPoint are both open on your desktop. Open up your PowerPoint and choose Slideshow Setup Slideshow. Set up things like you see here, presented by the speaker, show without narration, use hardware graphics, all the slides, manually, and most important is down here the 640 by 480. That's very, very important. Then we click on OK. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but don't worry. After you've clicked OK, hit F5 on your keyboard. Things will flash around and go crazy for a couple of seconds. Then the first PowerPoint slide will appear on your monitor in full screen mode. When it does, you can go to the Windows Media Encoder, but only do that by toggling with the Alt and Tab buttons on your keyboard. This is very important. If you use the mouse, the PowerPoint settings will be lost, and we will get the wrong screen settings again. From now on, we will change from PowerPoint to Encoder and back to PowerPoint only by using the Alt and Tab buttons. OK, now we have the Windows Media Encoder open. Click New Session, OK. Capture Screen, OK. Entire screen, and don't forget to capture the audio. If you're using two monitor screens, you may need to open the specific window menu first. Now we give the file a name. We select High Quality. Here you can fill in whatever you want. And then we click on Finish. Now we have to wait. We have to wait until the Windows Media Encoder picks up the settings from the PowerPoint presentation. Remember the 640 by 480. If these settings are not visible in the preview window, something has gone wrong. And we have to go back and start again. Maybe you forgot to toggle and used your mouse instead. When the preview window looks like it does here, then you can click on Start Recording. In this window, we click OK. You might get this window. If you do, you just click Yes. Sometimes these pop-up windows are hidden in the background. So make sure you check them off before you continue. Now you can toggle back from the Windows Media Encoder to your PowerPoint presentation. Remember, don't use the mouse. Use the Alt and Tab keys. Check to see that the PowerPoint slides are advancing properly when you hit the key on the keyboard and start your presentation. When you're finished, go back to the Windows Media Encoder to stop the recording. Only do this with the Alt and Tab keys. Remember, don't use the mouse. Now you can click on Stop to end the recording. Click on the Play Output File button to view your film. If everything's OK, you can put your monitor back to normal by going to the PowerPoint and hitting the F5 and Escape buttons.